What's on ladies and gentlemen, my name's Ross, I like games, and today we've got some very exciting new blue Digimon that we need to be having a little bit of a look at, and right off the bat here, might I give a, a rather large shout out to the lovely folks over at Ensan Gaming, as well as the lovely folks over at DigimonCard.dev, who have provided our translations today, we've got half a dozen new blue cards to be talking about, so let's start off with a lovely level 3, let's start off with Gaussmon. Now, what we got here is a blue flare Digimon, and that is going to be very important moving forward. We've got three cost to play normally, zero cost to Digivolve, 1,000 power. So, 1,000 power is low. It means there's something going on here. Generally speaking, if Digimon end up with such low power, there's a, a pretty gosh darn good reason for it, and it, it's probably a good skill. On Deletion... You may play a level 4 Digimon with blue flare in its traits from your hand, suspended without paying its memory cost. And we are going to be talking about a bunch of blue flare Digimon here, and we are going to be talking about a bunch of level 4s. One, a couple of level 5s as well, but that's not the point. We are going to be talking about some level 4s here, and you can be playing them for free. Now, sure, you have to play them suspended, and that's not ideal. But you know what? Is it really the end of the world? Like, if we're honest here? I don't think that's a terrible thing, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, your opponent can go ahead and delete them and that that's, that's rubbish and all of that, but you know what? If your opponent is spending their turn deleting the Digimon you just played for free, if that's your opponent's big win for the turn, I am alright for that. It's a deletion skill, but it basically means if your level 3 gets deleted... You can replace it with level 4 from your hand. So, you know, none of that digivolving up malarkey. Oh, you deleted my level 3. Well, congratulations, I've actually just gone up a level. You deleting my Digimon actually got me closer to getting my big Digimon out. That's kind of a win, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of a win. So moving up into level 4s, we've got Male Birdramon. 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to digivolve, 5,000 power, all fairly standard. But when you play, if you've got a Christopher Alnuma in play, you may return a Metal Greymon from your trash to your hand. If you don't have a Christopher Anumon in play, you may play one from your hand without paying its memory cost. Now that's really, really good. When you play, now this is play not digivolve, but remember, you can play it for free using Gaussmon on deletion. Very important. This is, a again, a blue flare Digimon. Then you can either, if you've got the Tamer in play, then you can get a Metal Greymon from your trash to your hand. If you don't have the Tamer in play, you can get the Tamer in play. Either way, this kind of sounds like a win, honestly. This seems like things we should get excited about. But that's not the only skill we've got here, although it's pretty gosh darn good. On deletion, we've got save. Let's you place a card under one of your tamers as the bottom Digivolution card. Remember, that's one of the new keywords in this new set. And you've got an inheritable skill when you are attacking once per turn. If this Digimon has blue flare in its traits and your opponent has two or more Digimon in play, you get to select one of your opponent's Digimon, and they can neither attack nor block until the end of your opponent's next turn. Yes. Obviously, your opponent can avoid this by only having one Digimon in play, but that's not exactly like a big win. Ha, joke's on you. You can't turn off one of my Digimon for a turn. I've only got one Digimon out. Like, as far as boasts go, it, it's not the strongest, if I'm honest with you. So there's a lot going on with this Digimon, and it is pretty good. At this stage, I suppose we should stop and just have a look at that Tamer. Now, this was revealed in a magazine, so we don't have the clearest image for which I can... Well, actually, a pretty clear image. It's not the best image, though. Sorry about that. Also, properly looks like he's about to go trim your hair, which is weird. We got a four cost tamer, but again, remember this can be played for free with male Birdramon. So essentially, you play a five cost Digimon and you get a four cost tamer for free. That's pretty sweet. And then what else we've got going on here is at the start of your turn, if you've got two or less memory, you set it to free. We've seen that a bunch. And as a security, you play this card about paying its memory cost. We've seen that a bunch. 
And on your turn, while you're playing one of your Digimon with Digicross requirements, you can rest this Tamer and place cards under your Tamers as Digicross evolution sources. So it's like we've seen of a few before, you can be putting cards underneath your Tamers using those keywords like save, but then you've got ones like this that essentially then get to put them back under your Digimon, giving you access to new inheritable skills, things of that nature, and it all starts sounding pretty gosh darned nice. Now there is a new Greymon coming around here. Again, I'm afraid we're having a roll with a magazine scan. And we've got a 4 cost to play normally, 2 cost to Digivolve, 4,000 power. All standard for a level 4. And what we've got here is, when played, look at the top 4 cards of your deck. Add 2 cards with blue flare in its traits to your hand. And then put the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order you like. If, however, you've got that Tamer we mentioned a moment ago. Yeah, that one that Christopher Alnuma, then what you get to do is return a Metal Greymon from your trash to your hand instead. Yes. This is good. We're constantly getting Metal Greymon back from the trash. The second time we've seen this, we like it. Plus, it's got on deletion save. You get to pop it under your tamer. And then we got an inheritable skill once per turn when you are attacking. If this Digimon has blue flare in its traits and your opponent has two or more Digimon, you may unsuspend this Digimon. Yes, obviously. That's really good. Great inheritable skill. Great play skill for consistency. And you've got save as well. There is a lot of very good stuff going on here. But hey. Maybe regular Greymon isn't what you're looking for. Maybe Decker Greymon is what we're looking for. And I think this is the point in the video where we can go from level 4s to level 5s. So what we've got here with Decker Greymon is a 9 cost to play normally, 10,000 power. Both very high for level 5s. 4 cost to Digivolve from a level 4. High. Two cost to Digivolve from a level 5. And we're seeing that on a bunch of Digimon in this set, where you do have cheaper evolution as long as you Digivolve from the, essentially the same level. So you go a 5 into a 5, and it's a little bit easier. Now here we've got Armor Purge, that skill we've seen before. That is where you would be deleted. You essentially shed the top Digimon, but then you get to survive. So, you know, Decagramon gets trashed, whatever's under it stays. That's a good thing. It means you're not getting deleted. That's good. Then it's got a skill that activates when you play or Digivolve, which is nice. You can put a Digimon with blue flare in its traits from your hand or under one of your Tamers at the bottom of this Digimon as an evolution source. So you can either put it from your hand or under one of your Tamers because, again, what you're basically doing with your Tamers, it turns out, is you are basically storing these Digimon under them ready to bring them back when you need them. And then until the end of your opponent's next turn, one of your opponent's Digimon cannot attack or block. Second time we've seen the skill in this line of Digimon, we are turning off our opponent's Digimon, and that is a very good thing. So you combine Armor Purge and this skill, and it's looking very good. But you've also got Digicross minus two, Metal Greymon, and Decadramon. Well, we'll get to both of those cards in a minute, all right? And in fact, Decadramon, it turns out, is a level 4 that we should have looked at a moment ago. We didn't. It's fine. It will be okay. We're looking at all of them, and that's what really matters. But this new Digicross thing, basically what we've got going on here is we've got those two named Digimon. In this case, we are talking about Metal Greymon and Decadramon. And because it's Digicross minus two, what that means is when you're playing this card, you can put one of each of them under and reduce the cost by two for each card that you place. I.e., yes, this is a very expensive nine cost Digimon, but if you whack a Metal Greymon and a Decadramon under, yeah, then you'll be fine, ladies and gentlemen. Then it's only a five cost and that makes a rather gigantic difference indeed. And of course, it's got a great play skill. And it's still got Armor Purge. This is wonderful. So given that this can Digicross with Metal Greymon and Decadramon, we should probably look at those cards. So Decadramon, what we've got here is a level 4, 5 cost to play normally, 2 cost to Digivolve, 5,000 power. All fairly standard. 
And when you play, draw a card. And then for each of your opponent's Digimon in play, draw a card. And I cannot tell you quite how ridiculous this is. This is not the level of draw we generally see from Digimon. Now, every time I tell you there's not much draw in Digimon, I always get a couple of very lovely people telling me, well, hang on a second, we'll see. There are some decks that can draw quite nicely. And you are all, of course, right. There are some decks in Digimon that can draw pretty well. When I say there's not much draw in Digimon, what I mean is when you look at other card games, they have significantly more robust drawing engines. Digimon is just not a game that is designed to draw a huge amount of cards. Little bit here or there. If your opponent's got a large board state, and this is dependent on your opponent, it may work, it may not. But if your opponent has got a large board state here, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous! This is draw the likes of which we generally do not see in a Digimon TCG. This is a level of draw that generally is just, well, honestly not accessible. This is huge! If your opponent's got seven Digimon in play, you can draw eight cards when you play this. And that's not going to happen very often, but drawing eight cards in one go in this card game... That is not what we generally see, ladies and gentlemen. This is really quite ridiculous in terms of a draw engine. Plus, on deletion, you've got save. And on both players' turns, as an inheritable skill, if your opponent has two or more Digimon, you get an extra thousand power. Honestly, the rest of the card is good. Save is nice. Giving extra power as an inheritable skill is nice. But compared to that draw engine, kind of everything else ends up feeling just a little bit underwhelming. Though still pretty cool. And then we get to Metal Greymon. And incidentally worth pointing out, Metal Greymon, we have actually seen the alternate art. It is the first alternate art we've actually seen so far. This is kind of cool. This is nice. We like Metal Greymon. And let's face it, Metal Greymon was always going to have an alternate art, right? So... Yay! Now we get to see both. So what we've got here in terms of stats is 7 cost to play normally, 4 cost to Digivolve, 8,000 power. The 4 cost to Digivolve is high, quite frankly, for an evolving level 5. However, we got some good skills. Material save 2, that is that new skill whereby if this Digimon's deleted, you can take 2 of the evolution sources that are Digicross requirements... That is, Greymon and Male Bergemon will get there in a moment. And place them to the bottom of one of your Tamers. So you get to save some evolution sources. That's quite nice. When you play, this Digimon gains Rush. That is to say, you can attack the turn you play it, which is quite nice. But if this Digimon is Digicross, three of your opponent's Digimon with fewer evolution cards than this Digimon... Cannot attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn. So it's a little bit awkward, but basically you did cross it into play. And then as long as you've got more evolution sources, you can choose three Digimon that don't have as many as you. And then basically turn them off for a turn. That's clearly very, very nice indeed. And then we've got Digicross minus two, Greymon and Male Bergemon. I.e. when you play this Digimon, you can take Greymon and Male Bergemon. Put them to the bottom of this Digimon's evolution sources and reduce the cost by two for each one played. Although I believe it is one Greymon, one Mel Bergemon. So, I mean, at total, it's only a free cost. But let's be perfectly clear, a free cost Digimon with Rush? I mean, we all like Bushy Agamon, right? Bushy Agamon has seen a bunch of play as a good rushing Digimon. As a Digimon that can come into play and attack right away. And that's a five cost level three. And kind of the point of Bushy Agamon is it's cheaper than a lot of other rushing Digimon, but it's very weak. Yeah, this has got 8,000 power and may well be boosted by evolution sources. And it could potentially be a free cost with Rush. That is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely ridiculous. There is a lot of very nice stuff going on here. Decker Greymon looks like a very good Digimon. And that's got Digicross. We see Metal Greymon, which is looking very cool indeed. There are a bunch of cards coming out here that are starting to look very, very nice indeed. 
But now I suppose I want to hear from you guys. I think we've looked at half a dozen Digimon and a Tamer in this video. I think that's what we've done. It's quite a lot, to be honest with you. But now I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think about all of these. Tell me which of these excite you. Tell me well, basically anything you want to tell me. Go nuts in the comment section, would you? But be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.